what to do to make millionaires move mountains for you, swim oceans for you, and do anything for you that you desire. Are you the type of woman that desires a man that, you know, would bring you flowers, worship you, that would, you know, bring you chocolate, pay for everything you, you want, really cherish you, really, you know, give so much effort and um, planning amazing dates and not only some kind of men, not like those men that no one wants, like, you know, but really high value quality men millionaires yeah having amazing jobs or even entrepreneurs good looking guys guys that you know all the women want to be with and how do you make them do those things for you it's simple but not easy it's simple and the answer is you let them cherish your feelings so after you connect it to a man's heart, yeah, you learn how to do that in my courses, activate your secret weapon course helps you with emotional mastery and how to date a millionaire course is helping you with the process, how to connect to him and how to really date so that he is addicted to you. But after you connect to his heart and you're doing everything, you know, on plan, he is going to, he is going to want to please you because a healthy man has pleasure pleasing you. <laughs> a healthy man access love while giving to you. A healthy man wants to make you happy because they want your juice, they want your happiness, they want to see you happy. Yeah? It's like for him, it's for him like, um, playing a video game and then wh whenever you're happy he's like yes I want I want she's happy like my wife happy wife happy life you know what I mean so if you want that a man does everything for you that you desire um, you have to connect to your feelings and you have to make him cherish your feelings but how many times women hide their feelings right like I did that too on dates I would, um, you know, not share my negative feelings. Like if he said something I don't like, I wouldn't share this. First of all, because I felt unworthy to be cherished a little bit. Yeah, actually a lot in the past. I felt unworthy that someone would actually want to make me happy. I never had this kind of modeling in my life. And I had to change that, right? I had to change that by treating myself well. And then I had to be brave to... I had to brave to really share my feeling, yeah, and share that, you know, that, that, that doesn't feel good and that feels good. So can you please, can you please behave the way that makes me feel good? And once I was able to share my feelings, to connect to my feelings, not to my authentic positive feelings, not my old trauma, not my, not my stuffed down feelings from the past, like the backpack that, that I was carrying, no, not this one, but my authentic feelings in the moment. Like, let's say he is saying something that is a little bit rude or inappropriate. I would be like, you know, it doesn't feel good if you say that. And a healthy man would be like, of course, I'm not going to say this anymore. Let me just make you happy. Then the wrong guys who are emotionally unavailable, not here, not available to make you happy, they would go away. They would be upset like, oh, you are annoying. Why are you always like having those feelings? They would just go away and say something weird like this. But healthy men, you know, affluent men, millionaires who really want to give you the world, they would be like, of course, I'm sorry. Let me, let me not talk to you like that. I just want you to, I just want to see you smile. You know, and the art in that is to be present in the moment to what is happening and being connected to your emotions. But again, if you, have so much backpack from the past with your emotions, with things that make you feel sad, you can't connect to your feelings. You will feel more numb and then you can't really captivate a man's heart. So you have to connect to your feelings. And the other part is, uh, the other part is so many women project the past feelings on now. Let's say you have this backpack of negative feelings from the past, right? Of triggers. 
And now he says something that, let, let's say I, if I would listen to this guy, I would be like, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Like, I'm not upset, but it triggers a past pain in you. It triggers some kind of past memory. And then you'll be projecting that past onto him. And a healthy man will be like, come on, like, this is, this is not the reality. I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. And they would be confused. And so you need to make sure that you don't project the past into now. And that's called emotional mastery. You have to clean up your emotions from the past, the negative things, the roots, and like, let it go and build new ones, new positive ones, and so that you are able to be present with him, present in the moment. And then once you've done that, you can just wish and say anything and a healthy man will be doing everything for you. Swimming oceans, moving mountains, because he wants to see you, his queen, happy and safe and loved, okay? So again, I created this course, Activate Your Secret Weapon to help you with emotional mastery because I believe beside of the other knowledge of dating, which is really important, this is a huge missing piece in this market, uh, a huge one. And so many ladies need that, so many ladies. And I'm aware that not everyone is going to be my one-on-one client and wants to either, but this course is very affordable and you get to learn emotional mastery so that you can connect to your feelings you can be present and that you can find and attract a guy who wants to give you the world who wants to cherish you bring your flowers and that only happens when the woman has emotional mastery if you don't have that you will be disconnected to your feelings or be connected to your past feelings from your past traumas and yeah like that isn't a match for a millionaire yeah, so do this work, learn through whoever you want to learn this, but learn emotional mastery to get to your millionaire's proposal, okay? So the link to the course is in the description box and or in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you watch on YouTube. Mm -hmm.